Facebook ads not converting, what should you do? Don't freak out, watch this entire video. I will solve that problem once and for all and you will learn exactly how to make sure that your ads convert right now. Hi, my name is Peter Gerardi and my goal here is really to help you with your online business processes so that you can cut years to months, months to weeks, weeks to days and really start to see a real progress every single day with your online business. If that's something that sounds awesome to you, then make sure you hit that subscribe and bell button right now so you can stay up to date with my latest videos and get my latest strategies, tips and tactics deliver it to you as soon as I release them. All right, so in today's video, we are going to talk about what to do if your Facebook ads not converting. So what kind of steps you should take, what do you need to look at, and how you really need to analyze your ads to make the right decisions. And really, this video is going to change the game for you. And I'm not afraid to say that because I have taught this to thousands of people, thousands of my students who have learned this approach and have seen tremendous results just by changing one thing in how they literally look at the ads and how they analyze them. So before I start to write down here on my whiteboard and really I will break it down for you so that really this kind of methodology, how you analyze your ads applies to every single of your ad campaigns, whether you promote e-commerce products or information products or services. Before I do that, I wanna kind of point out that it's very important that you understand that the numbers that you see on your Facebook Ads Manager dashboard, those are really a translation of human interactions with your ads, right? And a lot of people don't understand that and so they don't look at it that way and so they make these kind of black and white decisions. So if my ad is not converting, they think, oh my God, my offer is not right, or um, you know, the product is not selling, or they, they make these kind of weird decisions that are actually not related to what the problem is. And so you know, in this video, I will break it down, I will show you exactly where the problem is and how you need to think about it. You know, from the top to the bottom until you really maximize your results and make sure that your ads are converting and you get a positive ROI. And the first thing that I want to point out, um, and, and I will just kind of draw this um, case of multiple steps. Uh, so I will take a case of, let's say, if you are selling a product that has a multiple steps, right? So let's say you might have an offer page, okay? So this is an offer. So this is your landing page, this is your offer. And then on that offer page you have, let's say, add to cart button, right? So this is add to cart, right? And then you have maybe, uh, you know, some payment information. But let's just say that, you know, after add to cart, let's say they enter the payment information and let's say, you know, uh, this is the thank you page, right? So let's say someone comes to your offer page, they decide that they want to buy your product, they add it to the cart, and after they complete the checkout, you know, they get to the thank you page. This is very a simplistic way that essentially consists of just a couple of events, basically three events here, right? Now, before I break this down, one thing which you need to know about, and I have included the link in the description of this video, it's called Facebook standard events. And what is Facebook standard events? Those are events that are doing all kind of tracking uh, for you, right? So they basically are tracking the performance in multiple different levels, right? So for example, the offer might be, um, you know, the event for this offer might be view content, right? So let me actually write it correctly here. So view content. Okay, that might be there. Then we have add to cart event. And then we have the purchase event, right? So these are different events 
And what I want to point out here that between these events, so let me actually take a different color here. So between these events, we have actually a conversion happening, right? It goes from the top to the bottom, right? That's how conversion actually works. Now, when you think about this, okay, most people, what they think, my Facebook ad is not converting, they, they rush to make a conclusion, nobody wants my offer, nobody wants to buy from me, you know, and they kind of make that conclusion. But in reality, they need to look at something else. And so before you kind of make that kind of drastic conclusion, you have to understand that everything, you know, on Facebook starts with, with ad. So there will be your ad. This is your ad, okay? And so the, from the ad, people go to your offer page. And the very first metric between people seeing your, your um, ad and people seeing your offer, the very first metric is CTR, which is standing for click-through rate, okay? So now I'm kind of piecing everything together. So when you look at your ad performance, so when you go into your dashboard and look at for ad performance, the very first metric that is the paramount of everything is the link click-through rate, right? It's called the link click-through rate, okay? So when you analyze your ads, the first step that you have to think about is the ad click-through rate, okay? So if your ad is not performing on Facebook, don't do anything with your offer. Don't make a conclusion, nobody wants my product or something like that. Don't make any of these conclusions. The only thing at that moment that you need to think about is this part, which is your ad and which is your link click-through rate, okay? And so what do you think about? If the ad is not getting enough click-through rate, and typically what I'm aiming for is above 3%. I'm aiming for above 3%, and in some cases, when I'm running, for example, an affiliate offer, let's say I'm running an ad to a quiz landing page, right? <clears throat> in those cases, I'm looking for a click-through rate which is about 7%, 7, 10, 12%, right? The link click-through rate. There is a all kinds of different other metrics that, that Facebook is measuring, all kinds of other click-through rates, like, uh, you know, clicks on your ad, clicks on the image, things like that. None of that matters because what I care about and what you should care about, the only thing is how many people clicked on my ad and actually went to my offer page, all right? And so the first measurement is the click-through rate. That's where everything starts. And so, if you don't see your Facebook ad converting, then look at the ad click-through rate. Look at the idea, how many people you are actually getting to your offer. Is there enough traffic, right? Is there en good enough click-through rate so that the majority of people in that audience are actually seeing your offer? And if it's not, change your ad. Don't change your offer, change your ad or change your audience, right? So you can change two things on Facebook when it comes to that. Uh, to the ad, you can change the ad itself, which consists of text and images, or video and images, and, and text, right? Or you can change the audience that you are targeting, or, or you can change both. But really don't think any further until you get that click-through rate right. So when you start to see a good click-through rate, that's when you can start to measure further down. So you can see, okay, so if 100 people came to my page, how many, so 100 people viewed my content, viewed my offer, right? how many of them actually added product to the cart, right? And what's the conversion rate here, right? Then from those, how many actually purchased? And what's the conversion rate here? And so you go from the top to the bottom and you improve every step and you do that step by step over a longer period of time, starting from your ad, starting from your click-through rate, and that's how you actually get the results with Facebook ads. That's how you get to the point where you start to generate, which is the most important thing, right? And that's ROI, okay? So by measuring things from the top to the bottom, that's how you can actually achieve it. And so the very first starting point is really looking at the click-through rate. So go right now inside of your Facebook dashboard and if you see your ad is not converting, then first and foremost, look at the ad click-through rate. 
Is there enough people clicking on my ad and going to my actual offer page? Because sometimes it depends obviously of the offer, but sometimes you need to show um, you know, your offer to thousands of people. For example, when, when we promote an affiliate offer, and let's say we use a quiz funnel to promote an affiliate offer, we send you know, thousands of people to that offer page. Right, and so our click-through rate at those cases needs to be seven, 10, 15% link click-through rate. Otherwise, there is no way we can generate the ROI. There is no way enough people will see the offer so that they would go through this and actually get to the ROI point. And that's what the biggest mistake is that the most people, when they kind of set up the entire campaign, let's say they launch the campaign, they launch the ad, the very first thing that they make as a conclusion is that, well, my offer is not good enough. But you can't analyze that way. You have to analyze from the top to the bottom, which is you have to look at, you know, what is the click-through rate on my links first and foremost. And if the click-through rate is all right, let's say it's 3%, 5%, right? And your cost per click is really relatively low. So enough people from the audience goes to the offer page then you need to ask a question, okay, is my offer good enough, right? Maybe I need to add some more, for example, bonuses, or maybe I need to add some testimonials, or maybe I need to change you know, the title or whatever, or maybe my ad is not congruent with the offer because they need to be congruent as well. But you know, the key thing is to make sure that you measure from the top to the bottom, and instead of starting to make some kind of conclusions or, or worse, you start to buy some you know, applications or some kind of tools in order to improve some kind of performance here, but there is no really a magic because all you want is display your ad to the most relevant people and get the highest click-through rate possible so that you pay less money to Facebook and more people are exposed to your offer. Because the more people see your offer, the more you'll be able to enable things like retargeting and other elements and that those combined will actually make sure that you start to generate ROI. So I hope this video makes it clear for you. So if your ad is not performing, if your ad is not converting, right? The first and foremost, you wanna look at the ad link click-through rate. If the click-through rate is really low and not enough people seeing your offer or you're paying too high of a price for the click, then something is wrong. You have to change either the audience or you need to change the ad, right? So you need to dig deeper and understand who you are targeting with that ad too. And, and secondly, you need to think about the ad itself, how you can improve the ad itself to make sure that more people get to the page. And then once they get to the page, you again, you will measure how many people actually add to cart, right? And what's the percentage there? And once you get that right, then you will measure and think, okay, how many from those who add to cart actually, you know, convert to thank you page, to, to the actual purchase. And what's cool about this is that once you will have that all working, you'll be able to do the retargeting directly to these places. You'll be able to retarget people who visited your offer page but didn't add it to the cart, right? You'll be able to retarget people who are, uh, who added to the cart but didn't purchase, right? And so, that will create the entire machine which will generate the ROI and which will make your business work and your Facebook ads work. So that's pretty much it, what I wanna cover in this video. Make sure you leave me a comment if you have some questions about this. Um, this is really a dear topic to me because you know a lot of people are confused about this and they, they try to do all kinds of different things which are unrelated to the actual ad not converting. So, you know, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Also, make sure you watch the next video. It's very, very powerful. It's going to help you to understand more about Facebook marketing in general. And also make sure you check the information below. There is a free class that I'm doing on a regular basis that shows you more about how to build the business online and really get results with, you know, least amount of efforts. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.